Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my video for useful quests as a level 3 skiller. Uh, so I'm just going to be going over all the quests that you should do as a level 3 skiller. These are not all the quests that you can do. Uh, these are just the useful ones. So as you can see, I broke it down into uh, six different sections. So the first section I'm going to be going over is Fossil Island. These are all the quests that are required to actually gain access to Fossil Island. Um, if you guys want to check out my guide on how to get there as a level 3 skiller, I'll leave a little card up top on the top right. Uh, but really, none of these quests really give you anything significant other than uh, obviously access to the Fossil Island, uh, the rune crafting skill for rune mysteries, and then uh, some nice experience from the dig site quest. Alright, so the second section is going to be going over experience rewards. Now what I mean by that is uh, quests that you complete that give you a significant amount of experience in certain skills. Uh, now, I've only listed three here. There are more that give you experience in different uh, certain skills, but uh, they're probably included in a different section of this guide, or I just didn't include them because they didn't give you too much of experience to make a difference. Uh, but these three I listed here are pretty useful. The Elemental Workshop uh, gives you a decent amount of smithing and crafting experience. The Night Sword Quest I would highly recommend doing at one smithing as it gets you straight to 29 smithing. And then the Sea Slug Quest gets you straight to 20 fishing, I believe, 20 or 21 fishing. Uh, so those are pretty useful quests to do uh, at the start of your account. Next up is going to be XP Lamps. Now these are the quests that give you lamps, um, which you can utilize in any skill. I highly recommend using them in Slayer. Uh, however, the Varrock Museum quiz does not give you a lamp. It just gives you straight from 1 to 9 Slayer, which is why I included it. Um, this is the order that you should do these quests in for this section. Um, so doing these four quests here will get you from 1 to 17 Slayer. And then the other ones are One Small Favor, which this gives you 20k XP in any skill above 30. And then you also need to complete Shiloh Village and Jungle Potion to do One Small Favor. I do not recommend doing this quest until you get at least 30 Slayer. Then you have A Tale of Two Cats, which gives you 5k XP in a skill above 30. And the Architectural Alliance Mini Quest, which gives you 10k XP in a skill above 40. Again, I don't recommend doing these until you have the minimum slayer level to actually use those lamps all right next up is just the other quests that uh, give you random uh, useful things for a level 3 skiller uh, they're pretty much self-explanatory the eagle's peak just gives you access to box hunting methods such as uh, hunting chinchampas uh, the feud gives you access to the blackjacking uh, thieving method uh, Gertrude's Cat is required to gain access to Pyramid Plunder unless you're teleporting there with a uh, Pharaoh Scepter. The Contact Quest is pretty difficult to complete. That just gives you access to a bank near Pyramid Plunder. And uh, if you're looking into how to do Pyramid Plunder, I have a guide as, for that as well. I'll leave a card at the top right for you to check out. Um, but yeah, other than that, the other ones are pretty self-explanatory. You also have the Enlightened Journey, which gives you access to the transport balloon system. This is really only useful for Iron Man skillers, as a normal account can just buy uh, tele tabs and jewelry to teleport around. And then you also have the Skippy and Mogers mini quest, which gives you access to obtain flippers, which is useful for Partner Slayer, as well as uh, getting around underwater on Fossil Island. All right, here's the fifth section, the Achievement Diary. Here's a list of all the achievement diaries that you can actually complete. Uh, the only two difficult ones are the Karimja and the Lumbridge one. Uh, the Lumbi one is very difficult because you do need an alt account to actually complete that one uh, because both of those you have to defeat an NPC. Uh, but you kind of want to wait to do all your achievement diaries until you have at least 30 Slayers so you can utilize your XP lamps on Slayer. Alright, last but not least is the Karin Favor. Uh, now, you actually kind of want to get 100% in all of the house favors just because of the Architectural Alliance mini quest, which gives you the 10k XP reward. Uh, but really, the only one that doesn't have any use is the Shazian favor, other than the ability to complete the Architectural Alliance quest. Uh, but other than that, the other houses actually give you a bonus. Uh, Arceus gives you runecrafting. The Hesidius gains you access to the guilds. 
Uh, Lovakenge gives you blast mine, and the Piscalurius gives you anglerfish. Uh, those are the main important things for a level 3 skiller. And there you have it. That was a list of all the useful quests as a level 3 skiller that you can actually complete. Uh, I also added the achievement diaries as well as the house favors for you just for a little bit of extra information. If you guys found this helpful, please uh, be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for future content. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time.